हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नॉलेज इज पावर आफ्टर लॉन्ग गैप आई एम हियर विद यू ऑल टू डिस्कस विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक द टॉपिक इज डिफरेंट पेशेंट पोजिशंस विल डिस्कस अकॉर्डिंग टू डिफरेंट डिजीज कंडीशंस एज वेल एज इन डिफरेंट प्रोसीजर्स वट पोजिशन विल प्रिफर विल डिस्कस एवरीथिंग वन बाय वन फर्स्ट प्रोसीजर इज ब्रॉन्कोस्कोपी आफ्टर डूइंग द प्रोसीजर विल प्रोवाइड सेमीफाउलर पोजिशन टू द पेशेंट it will reduce aspiration risks from difficulty of swallowing this is the diagram showing the semifowler position 15 to 45 degree will prefer coming for the next procedure liver biopsy so during the procedure will provide the patient with supine position with right side of upper abdomen exposed right arm raised and extended behind and overhead and shoulder it will help to expose the area then after doing the procedure we will provide the patient in right side lying with pillow under the pancha side and it will apply the pressure and it will help to minimize the bleeding next procedure is the lung biopsy the patient who will undergo lung biopsy the positions will prefer will be flat supine with arms raised above head and hands held together head and arms should be on pillow it will help to expose the area and provide easy access to the area next procedure is renal biopsy whenever a patient will undergo renal biopsy procedure the position the doctors they prefer is prone position with pillow under the abdomen and shoulders it will help to expose the area the next procedure is peritoneal dialysis whenever a person will undergo peritoneal dialysis the position will follow is side to side position or side lying position when the outflow is inadequate will turn the patient from side to side it will help to facilitate the drainage checking for kinks in the tubing will help it out and if there is any possibility to have abdominal cramps if the catheter is placed in the last one to two weeks so cloudy outflow is never normal so the examiner can assess the patient and sense the catheter according to the complications they are suffering let us talk about a disease condition myocardial infarction if a person is suffering from myocardial infarction we will provide semi fowler position to that client and it will help to lessen the chest pain and promote respiration next disease condition is pericarditis if a person is suffering from pericarditis the preferable position for the client will be high fowlers or upright leaning forward position we can provide it will help to lessen the pain the coming for another complication is a shock if a person is under shock the preferable position will be will can make the patient flat on the bed it will help to increase the circulation previously tendelberg position is preferred but now it is making the patient lie on the bed will improve the condition of the patient and it will bring circulation the next disease condition is varicose vein or leg ulcers or venous insufficiency varicose vein is commonly seen in pregnant women prefer position for the complication of varicose vein will prefer is that we need to elevate the extremities above the heart level and it will help to prevent the pooling of blood in the legs and it will facilitate venous return we need to advise a person suffering from varicose vein to avoid prolonged standing next condition is the deep vein thrombosis if a person is suffering from deep vein thrombosis we will provide bed rest with the affected limb elevated after the 24 hours we can provide them heparin therapy patient can ambulate if pain level subside it will help to prevent the circulation with the adequate positioning next this is condition is seizure which is very common if we see a person suffering from seizure immediately will keep away all the sharp instruments or any objects that can harm the patient we will provide side lying or recovery position this side lying position 
will help to drain any kind of secretions and prevent aspiration. Next condition is the head injury. If a person is suffering from head injury, we will elevate the head of the bed by 30 degree. Head should be kept in neutral position. It will help to decrease the intracranial pressure. We need to avoid frequent suctioning in case of head injury clients, keeping the head from flexing or retreating. This is the diagram showing where the head of the client is elevated by 30 degrees and the head is in neutral position. This is all about part 1 discussion regarding the different position in different disease conditions and in different procedures. So for more such videos, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel.